So let's completely finish the die by smoothing over the edges and making it look, look nice since the edges are sharp and square. So again, let's double click on the dash document. And I'm going to come over here and click on isometric. So we've got all the sharp square edges and that is not how dice are finished. So we're going to use the fillet command. We're going to round the corners of the die. So we're going to left click on fillet. First thing you want to do is come down here and make this really tiny. So let's come in here and set this at 0 0.01, just an arbitrary number, and click on an edge. So that's pretty tiny. I think we can go a little bit larger than that. So let's come over here and not accept that. And let's go to fill it. And let's set that at 0 0.05. And let's click on an edge. So let's come to the front face to look at that. And well, notice that it falls tangent, the fillet falls tangent to that circle, but let's go check a couple of the other faces. So let's unaccept that, and let's go back to isometric. Let's check one of the other sides. So let's come over here and let's check the bottom, and then hold our right mouse down and zoom out, and let's go to fillet and set that at 0 0.05 and let's click this edge and let's come to the right face and it falls tangent as well that's something that you don't want to have happen unless it's something that just has to happen so i'm going to unaccept that that fillet is too large. Click back on isometric. So we've looked at <clears throat> 0 0.01, which was too tiny, and 0 0.05, which is too big. So let's look at the middle of that, and let's go to 0 0.025, or if you want to round that to 0.03. So let's left-click on fillet. We'll set that at point. 0, 03 and let's look at those let's look at that fillet that looks that looks really nice it rounds the corner it stays away from the dimples so let's complete the fillet by clicking on the rest of our sharp edges there are 12 in total hold the right click down and let's get this one and that one and that one and I believe we're done let's do a check so if I come back to isometric those edges look correctly rounded and nice uh, let's come to the bottom That looks good. I think all 12 of our edges are finally nice and smooth and filleted. Whoops, we got a fillet here on the circle, so we're going to unaccept that. So check that. So we picked up those edges. So let's go back to isometric. Always be careful of that when you're filleting and doing final features. So let's go to fillet. And we're going to set that at 0 0.03. And we want that edge. So be careful to stay away from other features. So don't get in a hurry. See, last time I picked up those three circles, which I don't want to do this time. 
hold my right click down and so be careful if you're if you click on the face you're going to get those so you just want that edge which turns orange there that one and that one and that one so Let's check all of our dimples. They should be nice and straight and square. So two, four, and six look okay. And five, one, and three look okay. And we'll hit accept. And we will go and click on isometric or go home. So let's just rotate that around. So we have nice dimples there. Excellent. So we'll click and go home on isometric. If you wanted to, you can go back and you can fill up these edges. Um, but at this point, the assignment is complete. Uh, let's look at what a fillet would do to the dimples. You don't have to do this. So let's set this at point zero zero five. And let's click, let's zoom in and let's click on the bottom edge and the top edge and you can see how nice that adds material here in the bottom and takes material away in the top but that is something that you don't have to do uh, let's close that let's look at a fillet of 0 0.01 at this point we're just playing so let's look at the bottom edge and the top edge that would <clears throat> that would be as much as you'd want to do you wouldn't want to go over uh, 0 0.01 but <coughs> excuse me you do not have to fill it your dimples so i'm going to not accept that and click on camera and rending click on isometric and that is the completion of the dice on shape document project thank you